Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome back to AOTP. Let's do a little bit of catch up. Not a lot to go over. Uh, it's a lot more food leveling up. As you can see, we've got a few more champs that have hit 40. Uh, I, got, I went ahead and took Outlaw Monk and Crusader up to four star because I do, I do think I wanna play around with them in Clan Boss. I think it's gonna be fun. I'm thinking something like Kale, Fireblade, Crusader, Outlaw Monk, and then some sort of support, I would imagine. So, at least until Masters are done. So maybe War Priest, maybe a Valerie. I think I like Valerie more for that. So maybe we'll go farm a Valerie from the campaign or something. But something along those lines. I wanna, I wanna play around. But just to give you an idea of what we're looking like, let's let's go ahead and hop in and see. Ooh, forgot we did this. Um, okay. I mean, I'll take those potions right now. Yeah. Okay. Let's do a little easy clan boss run. Game it for Jeezy. Killing it. All right. So yeah, this is what I'm running with right now. And uh, let's let's see what they do. I am a I am a big. Auto clan boss guy. I'm sure. <laughs> if, for those of you who don't know, I don't like the manual clan boss. I, I do it every every now and then when I'm trying out new comps or if I really want to make sure I, I get some damage. Or, but but I really I really don't like manual and clan boss. So let's see what they do on auto. Early early in the morning. Seems to be a pretty good little routine though to get up and do one of these every couple of days right early in the morning. So yeah, I'm thinking, especially once I get skill ups and stuff done on like Crusader, he'll be able to use his rally more often, which will let Fireblade get up the attack break more often. Uh, it will let Kale do that more often. And uh, I think it could be fun. That's one of the cool things about these uncommon champs is the cooldowns can get real low <laughs> and they're really easy to skill up. And I gotta say, man, I'll, I'll go, I'll check the shop. And I think the shop didn't look too hot this time, but I don't know what's going on with the shop on this account, but the shop is killing it, man. Every time I log in, I feel like I have to buy half of what's in that shop. There's always skill ups for champs I'm trying to build. And then it keeps giving me good four star gear. Lots of speed gear with speed in the subs really really solid stuff coming out of the shop so uh, I hope that continues <laughs> for a while because that's that's been nice I am gonna have to do some some specific gear farming I'm gonna either have to drop back into the campaign a little bit and farm like the speed stage for a minute because I do need some speed gear what I may what we may do in this video instead is see if we can get far enough in dragons to justify farming it a little bit we're definitely not going to get up to like 13 or whatever, but if we could get into a point where we could start getting three or four star gear drop exclusively, then then maybe it would be a good idea to just live in dragons for a minute, get get some life steal, get some speed, get a team situated where we can do a little bit of a minotaur push, and see if we can't get some scrolls going, because uh, that's that's going to be pretty nice to have done for clan boss while I figure out exactly what the team's gonna be. I'm gonna play around with this a little bit and experiment with some different things, but we'll, we'll settle on something. And when we do, that team's gonna have to begin a Minotaur grind. The long initial Minotaur grind. I always say that's one of the, it feels like one of the most brutal grinds in the game. It just, cause, cause you've got five champs who are all getting scrolls so about a half a million. Okay, we're making progress. I forgot about Outlaw Monk, by the way. No, did I say Outlaw Monk? We'll do Kale, we'll do Crusader, we'll do Outlaw Monk. We'll do Fireblade. I don't know, we'll play around with it, but if I, if I didn't say Fire Monk initial, initially, I'm, I'm tripping, because Outlaw Monk's definitely going to be in it. Yeah, Outlaw Monk's for sure going to be in it. I think I said that, though. I don't remember. It doesn't matter. I'm saying it now. <laughs> um, so yeah, why don't we do that actually? Why don't we why don't we take a look at where we're at here? So I've only ever done stage one, so I bet we can do a few. So let's think about some stuff that's gonna be nice here. We definitely want the support from her. 
I would like, I mean, I really, I guess I should put my four stars in. We could try this, but I may, I may want to get like a shield guard or a Saurus in this. I bet they're going to help us wave clear a little bit. I'm eventually going to want Greybeard in the mix here too. I think Greybeard's going to be nice for dungeons. I think he's going to be do a pretty good job of helping me, helping me control the waves when they start to get a little bit difficult. So I think he's going to be a pretty nice part of a dungeon team. So maybe he'll be one of my next couple of four stars. I haven't decided exactly who we're doing next, but I know Shield Guard's going to be on his way up soon. Shield Guard, Saurus, and, uh, and Greybeard are probably the next ones on their way up. I don't even remember what stage it is that starts to drop three or four star gear. <laughs> Let's see. Two to three, two to four. Th so, so if we can start, if we can get to stage five and clear it, I think we can, I think that will be, I mean, maybe even before that, you know? Because the quality is just so much different. Even though that one was two star, I mean, I'm, you're not, I'm not going to see anything like that from campaign. So uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. But I'm, I'm thinking we can get to five. If we can't get to five right now, we'll get there soon. Like, it, it won't be that hard. Because everybody here except War Priest is four starred. She's doing, she's doing fine. <coughs> I don't know. It's going to be interesting. <clears throat> but yeah, we're, we will continue to potion farm. Of course, we need a lot of potions. Uh, so that's what we'll be continuing to do in the background. We will... What do we got here? No. We will continue to be leveling up food because we got a few more champs we want to go ahead and four star. And then it's going to be time to work, start working on some more five stars. Start actually making a team of five stars. And... Um, and then farming this gear. I think we'll we'll leave the other dungeons alone for now. We'll probably just just worry about dragon because we want that speed, we want that life steal, we want some of the stuff that's in here. Uh, Kale could use improvement in a couple of places. And if I if I could switch him over to a life steal set already, I'm not opposed to it. But he's got some decent attack gear on him. Gloves suck. Gloves are like gloves are flat attack. But um, he's got some decent pieces of gear on him. But if I can upgrade him to a decent life steal set, that'll be fine. What are we on right now? Four? Okay, this one's gonna be. That was four. Uh, well, we'll keep that. All right, five. We took a we took a hard hit there. That was a little bit of a hard hit. We'll we'll see. I'm not so sure. This will be interesting. Them Hordens. Them level 22 Hordens. Alright guys, you can do this. If they can't, like I said, maybe, I mean, hopefully it's, it's a matter of like finishing leveling up Crusader. Or, uh, or something like that. But we're just going to keep our fingers crossed that they can do it. I think we'll pop in and do a little bit of arena after this too. Let you guys get a look at what we got going on. It, it's basically Kale nuking stuff. If Kale can't nuke it, uh, <laughs> then, then we usually lose. But... Now the Crusader's a little bit stronger. I, I mess around with his gear a little bit, give him a little bit more speed. Um, you know, we've got a couple of decently long fights. Okay, so I think they can do this. This seems like it's a 100% thing unless we get wiped. No, yeah, we should be able to do this. Okay, good, good. So we can come in here and farm some gear. Uh, no. So good, we can do Dragon's Five. So we'll do that a little bit. I bet you the shop's bad this time. 
Yeah, it's not so good this time. But I'm telling you, I haven't even unlocked all the spots yet, but usually it's... It's, it's crazy. I oh... Arena. We'll do a couple of arena fights, and then we'll pop in. Yeah, I think that's a good timeline. Um, I think we're, uh... We're out of our element here. Never mind. <laughs> Not gonna do any arena. Let's, let's push through the campaign a little bit, see if we can get further now. I've been wanting to try to get further, but I didn't, like I said, I didn't want to do anything without you guys, so. Let's see. I wonder if... Crusader... Might be better here. Let's try that. Because if Crusader rallies, that means Kale could potentially get another hit. And Kale hits hard enough that it matters. War Priest could potentially get a hit, potentially get a hit and freeze. So maybe maybe Crusader makes a little more sense now that he's four starred and a little bit better. I didn't realize that I had some of the gear I had on him. He had no speed. Ooh. We might need a little more work before we can go too deep. I don't think we're going to beat the campaign on normal or anything. I got to get Kale where he can farm in here. I'm getting tired of farming. Uh, I think I'm farming... Whatever it's called, it has the lifesteal. It's got Bad Alcazar's picture on it, I think. I'm tired of farming there. It does not feel very efficient. Give me one star gloves. Don't give me one star gloves, man. I'm trying to make sure there's not anything else I was going to do. One of these videos soon, like I said, once I have a little bit of gear in my inventory and it's going to be interesting uh, for some of you to watch, we are going to go in and, and, and gear. We might spend an episode gearing up our champs and... Uh, you know, just setting everybody up for different things. Again, I know some of you probably don't care about that, but I think there's a lot of you that will, too. I think I think gearing is... Artifact management and gearing champs is one of those things that a lot of people, a lot of newer players are curious about. They want to see someone do. And uh, it's, it's, it's just a weird subject. It's kind of hard to make a video on generically you know I've tried to make a how to manage your artifact storage video a couple times and it's it's a tough one it's a tough one to not just ramble for 40 minutes on you know there's a lot that goes into it so maybe just watching me do it would be nice for some of the newer players so I don't know which episode we're gonna do it and it won't be a 40 minute episode you know we'll, we'll keep it down to 15 minutes or so but we'll, we'll do something like that soon Got to get my silver back up too. My, I keep I keep losing silver because the shop is so dead gum good. <laughs> I was up to like one and a half million silver, and uh, I mean before I knew it, I was under a million because of that shop. But some of that stuff I had to buy. Four star speed helmet with a speed substat. Like come on, I gotta have it. Speed weapon with speed and accuracy in the substats. HP percent armor. Life set, HP gloves, life set. It's 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 crazy. It's almost better than farming dungeons. There's no way these guys are about to clear normal campaign. I'm not buying that. Although every time I say that, that they're not about to do something, they've done it. So I guess we'll see what happens. But I'm gonna be really surprised if they do that. So dumb seeing like these weak Kaimars and stuff. Alright, so that was six. There's no way. There's no way. I'm calling it. There's no way.
I mean, it'd be cool. Well, I'm gonna get a void shard for it, right? I'm not popping that void shard for a minute, but... It'd be nice. If we, whether we clear it or not, I don't think I'm gonna try to push any further into the next campaign right now. Uh, I'm just gonna be happy that we have everything here unlocked. I can work my way up to farming the 12s here for a little bit. We can farm our dragons, get some gear, and then next episode or two, then we can start to think about pushing a little deeper into the campaign. But like I said, I'm gonna be shocked if they clear this. Y'all better quit playing. Okay, no more Crusader. Well, there you go, man. And they made it look easy. They made it look easy. There you go. Alright. Void Shard and some Dookie Gloves. Alright. There you have it. So, we are going to... We cleared the campaign. That's good. I don't think there's anything else I had planned for this video. Hopefully I didn't say I was going to do anything else in this video. We're going to farm some dragons. We're going to farm some potions. We will farm arena as we're able, but it, it drug us into deep waters that last time we, we checked our list. So, um, you know, we'll, we'll sit on that for a little bit. Other than that, I think that's pretty much it for this episode. We did a little bit of a clan boss run. So yeah, food leveling up, potions, dragons, and uh, just general resource gathering is what will be going on here. And... Yeah, we'll see what happens in the next episode. I don't really know exactly where, where we're going to be. It's going to depend on the gear and stuff that drops. But um, I guess that's going to wrap it up for this one. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.